Hello everyone, I'm desolating hexagons, we can't do anything with this here hole, but there's a, there's a sign next to- is there? Where? Follow the rock down the show to the switch lanes, yes. So this, the iron law of the workers, cool. This is Ripe and Tingle's Blue Trip of Love. In the last episode, we got more properly acquainted with not only the Lost Tracks, but also their inhabitants, and uh, now we're just riding the rails and throwing boulders into holes which become boulder holder holes in order to swap things around. And there are so many things we need to bring with us. Yum. Anyway, 10 sticks of dynamite, which already puts us closer to our goal. In the last episode, we were given a target of 50 sticks of dynamite, or dynamite, as the locals call it, and... Uh, we're already, whoa oh lemon and a pear, halfway there. Or slightly above, amongst. Anyway, there's another, uh, according to the map. Nope, this isn't the way I thought we were going to go. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. We can just go back down the D hole. Shut up. And... Yeah. We're going to want Lion to pick up a boulder from here and take it with us down the others. See, why they couldn't just have been more regular levers, I don't know. Yum, busy work, it's whatever. Aha, we can use the f Oh! I'm only now registering in my head, we needed the freight car to carry the boulders, not the dynamite. Ah, because dynamite is clearly something you take in your pocket. Anyway, based on how this area sort of knots together, I'm inclined to go this way, and then also ignore F, and put the first bolt into hole G. Because what that's going to do is put us on the the other set of rails, which would allow us to, uh... Yes, come this way, Lion. Thank you kindly. Please plop it amongst. What this will do is set us on a set of tracks that will take us back to the rock deposit anyway, so I'm sort of starting at the end and working backwards here. Is this the most efficient way of doing it? Blowed if I know, but, uh... It makes sense in my head, so I'm going to do G first, and then F, and then E. Ooh, how generous of you to put more rocks here, even though we go past another rock deposit anyway. Thirteen! We are making serious headway already. Did you think that when they said 56 of dynamite that we'd be here for a while? Because, I mean, we will be here for at least a bit of a while, but not that bad of a while. Yeah. So, we have a fresh boulder that just so coincidentally happens to look like one of the previous ones. We can take our magical journey of amongst along the ways, and that's why this corner isn't a normal corner, I'm sure. So, as promised, let's go round again. Maybe we'll turn back the hands of time. I make that reference every time I say that sequence of words. Uh, e can stay as it is for the moment, because this time we're looking to deposit in the F hole. This game makes me say so many questionable things that are so questionable that I don't even know how questionable they actually are if they just sound it. Anyway, that's F flipped. The, the F in F stands for flipped. But methinks we may have to go on a bit of a journey to get there because this is going to take us back round past G again and that's going to be a whole thing and... Uh, I think. Now, I would speed this up and just sort of meet you at the next destination, but I'm sort of strategizing as we go. I don't get why there's an extra pile of boulders here. We're going to pass another one. Like, in what universe would you pass by this set of boulders and not the other one? I mean, I'm not mad. It, it saves us a stop, I suppose, but... Meh. Which is a good sound, and I do not envy whoever has to transcribe that. So, my thinking is, if we go this way, and then I'll drop this boulder off in hole E, which isn't going to be that useful to us in the immediate, but we will need to visit it. Like, we'll need to pass Junction E next time we come past here anyway, but for the moment, like, this is setting up for the thing we do next. The thing we're doing now is passing Junction F. I promise this is nowhere near as complicated as talking about it makes it seem. And it, honestly, this is a really cool... Do we need that boulder for anything? I don't think we do, but I'm going to take one anyway because it's better to have and not need than to need and not have, in the words of a wise bishop. References. Yeah. Now, are the f Wait. What? Was, was that all just for another pile? I don't think I approve of that. Wait, does this- Ah, uh, huh, huh. If I'm not misremembering... If we, if we flip Junction G again, is this... 
Because I'm thinking, which direction are we going to approach the junction from? Because I think we're going to need to pass junction E from below in order to go the right way? No, that can't be right. I think no matter which way we hit junction E, we're going to go the right way. And we don't need to... Okay, so we can't go back this way. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Bear with while I re-undo junction G. So basically, the moral of this specific chapter, like, yeah, this page, but especially page 9, chapter 4, is don't second guess, don't try to be clever, just, like, this is something I struggle with just in life in general. Like, don't, don't a a apprehend, yeah, don't apprehend your first set of thoughts and be like, no, that was just my first instinct, let's think about this harder. No, your, f your gut instinct is probably right as regards these puzzles. Might you be the last six of dynamite we need? Are you going to pull the rug out from beneath me? Two? But we need ten! Are you going to pull the rug out from under me and be like, ho ho, you needed another boulder after all? Because I don't think that will be so. Like, the map doesn't suggest to me that we need... Okay, we did, but there were rocks here anyway, so it's fine. That being said, I don't think Junction E matters anymore? Because... Okay, we've got all of the dynamite. I saw one of them! Where's the other of them? Yeah. I'm not going to worry about hole E, because we shouldn't need to come back down here ever again now, because we've got everything that we need. Let's make, let's make this delivery, acquire the rights to flip Junction H, and be on our merry little way once we've got... But we need to get the number zero key as well. That is a necessary step in the process, and I'm talking about the key due me, which I will collect. When did you get this crate? Oh, the dynamite you collected in the box. I will blow up your box, sir. <laughs> I don't like how the, the hole in the wall... Okay, good. Cover up the hole because it does look a little bit sus. Anyway, you're welcome. <sighs> yep, that's the fifty sticks, all right. Thanks for doing this. Oh, all right. Stack up the sandbags along the safety line. Everybody line up. Sounds like it should be a musical number and it isn't. You know, the blowing up the wall song. Handbags are ready. Hold on. These four travelers deserve our gratitude. For working with us towards our goal. Let's finish the construction with a bang. With this many people? That sounds like it could get messy in a hurry. We're using dynamite, it's- th 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 that is objectively true. I sh- Games, stop yes-handing me like that! We are not having an odd anyway! Anyway, this, and I quote, this. I've laid the cable. That's an About the dinner. We couldn't have done this by ourselves. When you can do the honors, I press down on the dinner. Sure, this sounds like something Tingle would do. Let's blow up a house. Well, it's not a house, it's a wall, but still. Kaboom! Let's have a look at the George. Hole. We didn't get through. Really? It was all of a night. No. Look closely. There's light. Light forming we broke through. We did it. We could descend the mountain from here. Damn straight. We... We made it. Okay, bye. Bariki, would you care to react? Workers have expired. Okay! That bright light was amazing! He seems to have been paralyzed by a shock. Well, at least someone around here is reasonable. Lion, you, uh, you wanna come with? Who are you?! <laughs> Tunnel ghosts! Huh? 
Yeah, no, we're not ghosts. They were ghosts, we're not. I was wrong. You're not ghosts. What in blazes happened to you guys? Oh, there's ghosts for sure. The ghosts of the settling crew. And I'm still a young lad. An accident happened in these mountains. After that, construction was suspended. But someone is still digging in this tunnel, they say. Clang, clang, clang goes the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. <clears throat> I've heard the sound myself for sure. Well, looks like I finally know the truth. Yep, it was us. Uh, who are you? Listen well, youngin. They call me the Herb Gathering Geezer. Not the Herbmit, then? A hermit who gathers herbs? The, the Herbmit? Or would Americans not find that funny because they forget that the word herb has an H in it? Where are we? Who are we? This clapperboard mountain. Here, look this way. Talk this way. That glittering over there is the Grand Channel. We're gonna go to France? In front of it is the port. Okay. You won't be able to walk to the port from here. You don't strike me as a mountaineer like myself. Uh, who were the ghosts, by the way? Well, it's you, of course. Some has been going on working in there. Something, I guess, has been going on. Someone has been... Okay, whatever. Stands to reason. Oh, but it wasn't us. Well, I expected more than three people for sure. Lion is also here, he's just back there. I've been hearing those sounds in the tunnel for a long time. Huh? What's that over there? Oh look, it's a distraction. The yellow road leads to the city. Yep, we, we have known this for quite some time. A big opening has appeared! Amazing! Kakashi, d just don't. Many train tracks come together in the port. So it's the rare occasion where uh, the 2018 Eurovision slogan actually works on multiple... It was supposed to be about boats and I thought it sounded like trains. Sparkles? I'm going to take this from under your nose. A glittering thing... Is, is it the number zero key? Because we were promised that and I will collect. Oh, what is it? The number zero key. Key number zero. The number zero key. The key number zero. The key that grants access to switch number zero. That key. Ah! Did I just faint? Yeah, sure. Uh, um, Tingle? I'm confused a little. Uh, those construction workers, did they finish their work and leave the mountains? In a manner of speaking. Uh, uh, that's it, I, I, I was just confused. It was suddenly so white, I, I couldn't see very well. Um... Uh, where were we? Uh, I couldn't see anything. Well, let's settle then, boy. Yellow tracks! Yellow tracks! We have the number zero key. Use of switch point zero possible. Yep. And you're still here. <gasps> no, you have nothing to add to the conversation. Well, there sure is nothing here. Although, actually, wait, no, hang on a minute. The terminal that Zombie was at. You have control over Flankel H. What are you? A glass pendulum. I'm sorry, is this Atlantis? You know, that, that film that people consider to be a lost classic, which I have on VHS, and I didn't think... Like, I didn't think much of it because I was too young to appreciate it when I first saw it. That film where they use these as, like, keys on, like, underwater motorcycles or something. Let's take it anyway. I'm not sure what this will do for us. I genuinely don't remember this as a mechanic at all. A close look reveals an engraving. GJ. Oh, for the, you know, the Lithuanian singer. We talked about her last t time before last. Possibly the oldest initials, we just don't know. A memo about work. Mood. I know many of those. Helmets are lined up on top. Seems to be some kind of specialized mechanism. A blasted mechanism, if you will. We can't figure out how it works. Here's a phoen. That's That's that, I suppose. Oddly satisfying. But 
How are we supposed to flip, switch, switch, flip, hit, switch, flippy the junction of the H? We need to switch, flip, hitch, switch, flip, flippy, th switch the flip of, of the H! We need to do H! That's how we get out of here, is it not? Get back on the tracks, yeah, let's be on our merry little way. Um, uh, oh wait, we were tied to the main line. Wait, let's head to switch point number zero. If I could remember where that even was. As I said, this is not. A, as I, I said going into this chapter, it it looks far more intimidating than it actually is. So switch point H was just useless then. Well, we'll probably come back here at some point. I think we do anyway. Don't quote me on that. I'm fairly sure we do. We, we, we're gonna have to go. We, we have to come back. I, I I want closure and satisfaction regarding H. I want to put it in H. But now is not the time for that. Let's, uh, let's switch, flip, switch the flip, hitch, switch, flip, that number zero, that thing. Switch activated. Thank you. Return to mainline is now possible. Um, uh, okay. Let's get back on the wire. Oh yes, do let's, rather, bully, etc. <sighs> so that was a diversion hour. Bye-bye, construction people. Honestly, for how scary this chapter is in terms of like, oh no, confusing rails, I thought it would take longer than it did. But honestly, only two and a half episodes? Like, bearing in mind there was the story element as well. You helped some folks complete their tunnel. Now you're back on the right track. I love when that happens. So, I remember things about page 10. Oh, look at that, we've got some friends. Somehow, it just took more time than expected. Finding the tracks is fun. Yeah. Hey, Luigi, how far is it still to the city? Nose. <laughs> we have arrived at the ferry station. Like I said, we's going to France. Ferry station. Oh, that's right. Oh, from here, we have to take the ferry. Sounds like fun and not bureaucratic hell at all. Uh, what is a ferry? <laughs> it is a shuttle that can carry the liner and us across the sea. No one told us there'd be a sea involved. A uh, shuttle? I got it. So it can go into space. That's not it, kiddo. Well, there's still much of a hassle to explain, though. Huh? Come on, Mr. Lion, please! Oh, yes, the time is running short. Let's board quickly. Oh, yes, do let's. Rather, as previously established. Hello. What's popping, my gentlefolk? <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at you. Ports and permissions and pride and prejudice and dish and dishonesty. What it do? Please show uh, show me your passport. My what? Could it be that you have no passport? Yes. You can't pass through here without a passport. Back up, back. Am I Yorkshire? Am I Cockney? Fuck knows. Oh good, it's Lovia. What are you doing here? Well, we have reached the port. I, I remembered. You need your passport as identification. Otherwise you can't get to France. It's another country. Uh, we can get it at some government office. Uh, I think. Yay! Get in a passport! Government building detected. Over there. Because that's something you can just detect. I don't know, maybe they give off, like, Emerald City government Wi-Fi and you recognise their IP address or something. Let's go with that. It seems to be part of the city administration. Well, that's cool and lovely. And, uh, well, now seems like a fairly good opportunity to sort of break things off. So let's, let's check in with Save Pig. It has been a minute. How are you doing, my precious oinky darling? Good day. I am Pig. 
You sure are. So, uh... Yeah, I think that uh, I have been able to continue to be tessellating hexagons. In the next episode, things will definitely go as smoothly as planned, and there will be no interruptions whatsoever. See you then for that?